You've surely heard of IPv4 when you've set up a computer on a network. But what is IPv6, and why should we be interested in learning more about it? Well, today we'll look at both and get a better understanding of why IPv6 works better for AV professionals. And as a reminder, if you like these short videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. IPv4 is the current standard in assigning IP addresses for network-connected devices. As you know, every device you put on the network has to have a unique IP address. As you can see with this sample IP address, IPv4 uses a 32-bit address. That means that with each of these four three-digit numbers, 0 to 255, there are about 4.29 billion possible combinations. Now, that sounds like a lot, but if you consider that just about everything these days is connected, that's not enough. The way we get around it is by using private IP addresses in a private network, and only using a single public IP address to access devices outside your private network. Well, this works fine when you're just connecting a bunch of PCs together and using an ISP gateway to access the outside world. Can you get to the Internet this way? Absolutely. But what if you need to access one of your devices directly from outside the local network? No can do. Well, you can, but it requires an IT manager to route you through an open port physically, and then you need to have a network address translation service running to negotiate a connection to a private IP address that's not known to exist outside your local network. Wow, that's a real mess and a lot of work for somebody. And it opens the door for a ton of possible security issues as well. Now, IPv6, on the other hand, uses 128-bit addresses like this. Eight groups of four hexadecimal numbers, which gives you 1,024 times more addresses to assign to devices. This comes out to 340 trillion, trillion, trillion IP addresses. <laughs> Let's just call it a gazillion to keep it simple. So, what does that mean for you? Well, there's 7.7 .7 billion people on Earth right now. If we divide them into the number of possible IP addresses, every person alive could have about three-quarters of a gazillion devices connected. They all have their own unique public IP address with no private address issues, no network translations, no more DHCP, and at last, we can do multicasting over the Internet. So, if you're frustrated by the inability to negotiate access to your pro AV devices on enterprise networks, and if you're tired of having to stand on your head to get a green light to even put your devices on a network, and if you're at the end of your rope trying to figure out how to make your AV over IP systems fit into enterprise network topology, worry no more. IPv6 solves all these issues and will make networking as easy as plugging in power. I hope this sheds a little light on the future of networking, and as always, please like and subscribe to our channel if you found this short video helpful.